Hi, this is Troy with Zoner Photo Studio. Today we're going to be looking at how do we shift colors within an image, or in other words, how do we change a color within an image. It's pretty simple with Zoner Photo Studio. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's get back to our main manager screen, and we're going to select this flower up here. We can open this image one of two ways in our editor. We can simply click on Editor, and we are ready to go. I'll go back to Manager, or we can simply double click the image and open it in Editor. Now, let's go ahead and shift these colors. What I would like to do is change the color of the petals on this flower. So, we will come over to Effects, Shift Colors. Okay, I had my setting from the last time, but we're going to start from scratch here. So, um, best thing to do is we take our dropper, so we click on this here, and we'll come up and we'll find the richest area of the color that we would like to change. So, I will select the reddish color within the petals, and when I select it, you'll see it is represented here. Now all we need to do is actually make our changes using our shift shifters or sliders. First thing I like to do is go over to the U slider, click on it, and drag it with my mouse. As I do that, watch the colors of the petal. Um, they would normally change, but if this happens where you slide it and you see nothing happening, um, the cause of that is I do not have the preview button selected, so I'm going to click the preview button and you'll see the change. So now I'll go back to my slider and as I slide, you'll see different colors based on where I am in the slider. So I'm shooting for yellow today, so I'll slide over and get yellow. Now that I have the yellow, I want to saturate it a little bit and, and make it even a little more vibrant. So I go down to saturation, click on this slider, and slide over. And as you can see, it gets a little richer yellow. Um, the third slider is lightness. I can actually brighten it up a little bit by sliding that over just a little. So it brightens it up. So now I'll deselect preview so we'll see our original. And I'll select preview and we'll see the difference. So that's quite a difference there in those colors you don't have to stop at one color. I'm going to demonstrate one other little feature here. If you take your your uh, dropper button or tool and click on the green for instance within this leaf, now we have green and our sliders are ready where we can actually make adjustments to the green within the image. So you see it's a little richer, it's a little faded. Um, another neat feature, which is like selective uh, colors within a grayscale image, I'll take my saturation of the green in this image and I'm going to bring it all the way down to next to nothing. And now we have pretty much a black and white image with the yellow uh, petals. So this is a great way to uh, shift your colors or change your colors within an image. Um, if I like these settings and I want to use them again later, I just select Save Preset and I will give it a name, um, Shift Colors, and I select OK. So in the future, if I want to apply these effects to a different image, all I would need to do is come down to Shift Colors um, and select it and I'll end up with this. Just like if I go back to Default, I'm there shift colors and we're back to this image. So there you have it. That is how we shift colors or change colors within, within an image.